Hello and welcome to Tennis Snacks, Vasco here with a new video and today I want to help you guys overcoming volleys. Uh, in order to excel at the task of hitting volleys, you need to do one thing, less. Less everything, less backswing, less follow through, less wrist, uh, less power, everything less. Because the main difference between a volley and a ground stroke is that there's no follow-through and there's no backswing. The wrist must remain firm and steady so that by the time you hit the shot you block it. You block and you make sure that you use your opponent's power to make it your own. Picture a wall. When you hit the ball against the wall what happens is that the wall will absorb that energy and then feed it right back to you, correct? So do the analogy of the wall and the net player hitting a volley, it's quite similar because you just want to make sure that you can hit the ball firmly without bending the wrist, without doing that follow through and that backswing so that you can absorb the energy and make a good solid volley. Another thing that is going to help you achieve better volleys is having your heels up. So the um, concept behind this is that if you're flat footed, okay, it's harder for you to react to the ball. So it's better to have the heels up in a way that as soon as your opponent hits the shot, you already have a, like a controlled uh, off balance towards the front, you know? So you're kind of leaning forward to help you achieve better volleys. Another thing that's gonna help you excel at hitting volleys is to have the center of gravity lower. What I'm saying by this is that the, your core should be really like low in a way that it's easier for you to try and block those shots because the ball has a certain weight. Imagine if you're standing still and the ball is going right at you, you just fall back. But if you have your core, the center of gravity, a bit lower, plus having the heels off the ground, it will help you establish a better balance too, so you can block the shot by going forward. Another really important reference that I like to use is to have the elbow in front of the body. Normally when you're hitting the volley, you want to achieve a good impact point in front of the body. And by standing in the, your base position with the elbow in front of your torso, not close to it, but in front of the torso, will help you um, have a better percentage of shots hitting in front of the body. Which grip should you use? Well, here uh, in this department, sometimes it's a gray area, uh, but in order to try and help you guys to achieve uh, consistent volleys without overthinking it, I would say that it's important to try and go for a continental grip. Here with the continental grip you just need to make sure that you not only set your wrist back in the forehand volley to hit it in a way that you have the strings facing forward but also by rotating the shoulders you have a good positioning of the strings towards your goal and you don't need to use that backhand grip or forehand grip just because if you just go for the forehand grip, you'll be too much dependent on the wrist. So it's a higher probability of just flicking the wrist while making the volleys. And that is going to hurt your accuracy of the shot. So it's better to focus in one grip. In this case, I will go for the continental grip. And from here, just try to adjust the wrist slightly and use the shoulders to rotate in a way that you have the strings in the correct place. One final reference for you guys that I'd like to give you is the rotation of the shoulders. So uh, it's really important to have the setup in terms of the body, in terms of the, the grip, everything, but rotating the shoulders in a way that when you're going for the forehand volley, you kind of show here the left shoulder to your opponent and then you just need to block the ball forward and on the other hand, when you're going towards the backhand volley, you just show the right shoulder towards your opponent. And from here, you can go forward and finish that good shot. Don't tell me that my grip is old. I know it. <laughs> this concludes my video on uh, how to overcoming volleys and try to exceed and try to excel in terms of technical aspects, in terms of positioning. And hopefully this video is helpful for you guys to try and improve your volleys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time. And keep on stacking.